The government's grappling with what to do with artificial intelligence. There's been encouragement about the technology and how it could boost the economy, but also warnings about what it could do for things, including our democracy. Joining the panel now is Science and Industry Minister Ed Husick. Thank you Hello. for your time. Hi, welcome to every single one of you. <laughs> it's yeah. a new experience for me, this Star Chamber. Nice Star Chamber. Yeah. It's nice to see a Cabinet Minister brave enough to take up the challenge of politics now. Oh, so you say that at the start of the interview. Great. There so. have been plenty of Cabinet Ministers and they're all welcome in case you're out there watching and not replying to me. Um, <laughs> David Pocock this week. So he had a fake video from the Prime Minister announcing gambling. It was, hard, yeah, it was hard to miss. Will that be legal to do by the time this election happens, this next federal election? Well, what Senator Pocock's looking at is uh, something that has been discussed quite widely about the the impact of potentially of deep fakes in election advertising. And that's something that my colleague, the um, Minister uh, for or Special Minister of State, Don Farrell's managing um, and looking at that in a broader sweep of electoral reforms. But it does present, I mean, the, the fact of the matter is that the way that AI has developed and the things that it can do that people didn't think were possible, uh, that's forcing governments to rethink their approach to regulation. It's what we're trying to do from the get-go um, I indicated that we'd have ministers in their particular areas where legislation thinks about these type of impacts that deal uh, with those things, like, for example, what you've seen uh, in terms of from Minister Rowland, the Attorney-General, obviously Special Minister of State, uh, and in terms of my own um, uh, portfolio area, looking at those risks that mm. are posed and what are the guardrails, and also importantly working with industry for them, one, to take it seriously, which they do, and two, to work with them on the answers. And when you're talking, because you've spoken positively about the opportunity yeah. and also said, hey, we can't put our head in the sand and be left behind on AI. But when you have conversations, if they're with tech companies as well, do you say, look, if you want me to keep saying there's some good elements of this, you've got to help us out on the democratic front, on even the way they're gathering it from users, you know, whether someone's ticked a box somewhere or not on these 300 pages of terms and conditions and suddenly stuff on their kids' faces being gathered to AI. Do you, do you sort of push upon them that they need to play ball? I think one of the things that uh, had a big impact on me was some of the polling that was done by the University of Queensland and they asked Australians, you know, if you look at the benefits that AI delivers and then you think about the risks, like is it more worthwhile just to keep using AI? Do you think you, that the benefits outweigh the risks? Only 44% said the benefits outweigh. So it's clear in the public's mind there's an issue. And I think governments need to, one, acknowledge that and, two, respond to it. Uh, and talking with business, uh, there'll, there'll be some... Look, there's a wide range of views and I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it. There'll be some people that are quite relaxed about where we're going and there'll be others that go, oh, this is too much red tape, it'll stifle innovation, and I'd rather just be straight up front about that. But the key thing, um, from my point of view, is people... The technology and the benefits that are there, if people don't use it because they don't trust the technology, that's an issue. Um, if people use it in the wrong way and they ignore the risks, that's an issue. So what we're trying to do is just deal head on with those type of matters, build the confidence in the use of AI, but it's important for particularly the developers and the designers of this technology, they've got to get real. Like they, They're not going to have just a blank check uh, and a licence to do what they want. It's not just us saying this. In this country, world over, governments are saying this stuff has the potential to go off the rails and business needs to deal with it seriously.